Coin Toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He makes it to the 32-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 36. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he's level at the 35-yard line. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he was going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. from the 35-yard line. It's first down. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's out to about the 11-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From the 11-yard line, first down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That'll make it second and seven. off left side he's taken down at the 11-yard line well that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football they know what this team likes to run and they got the better of them that time third and ten ball on the 11. the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers in the formation looking for six and he got it touchdown you know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? He makes the PAT. So a seven-play, 67-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Short kickoff. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. One play, and he'll lose yards. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 45. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Nice run there. That's a gain of four. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 49. After a decent pickup. That's good to have been seven yards. First down. 
takes it to the 42-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. From the 42-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Here's the eighth play of the series. And off to the left. He's at the 20. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Five wide. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 67-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. We get a tie game at 7-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. At the 32. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 37. him hard at the 47-yard line. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. We played one. We're even at seven in this one. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Second and five, ball on the 38-yard line. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Booming kick. 
So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Gets out to about the 21. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 18-yard line. That brings us third and 12. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Bring him down at about the 29-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Makes the catch, and look out. So the pass was complete for a gain of two on the play, and that's good for a first down. Well, they got to him in a hurry, but it was just a little bit too late. That's a nice first down pass. And he's tackled at the 26. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26. He's going to try and scramble. He scores. What a play. I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And now he's got room to run. Runs outside for a nice game. Under heavy pressure. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception. So 
he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. Brought down right around the 40. Gain of two on the play. Third down. From their own 40-yard line. Third down. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. He's tackled at the 35. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 35-yard line, second down. He gets sacked on the play. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Fires that quickly incomplete. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick half to his receiver. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's sacked. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 31 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down around the 26-yard line. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes, so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From their own 26-yard line, second down. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 14-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So 
when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It and the offense on the other side, you know what you got too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And it's a short kickoff. Gets to about the 34-yard line. I tell you what, you got to give these guys credit. They put up a great defensive effort in the first half. They carry it over in the second half. Doesn't look like they're going to give in. Yeah, and this game isn't over yet. I, I think it's going to require them to continue to play with this kind of edge and attitude to be able to give themselves a chance to win the game because we still have a ball game in our hands and still a whole quarter to go. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. There's a play fake. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's scrambling. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tackle at the one. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And he gets the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of four. That makes it second and From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Tries to get around the corner. Nice run to the outside. On the tackle. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up third and two. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game seven yards. From their own 40-yard line. It's first down. They'll give it off here. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Good outside run there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle made at the 30. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's at the 20. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. And the run is good for big yarding. Good gain, and I think that's the exact same play they just ran. From the 17-yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Gets rid of it. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. The 10. And they make the stop at the seven. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Two times, two times. So at the end of three, we're deadlocked right now at 14. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Kicks up, and it is good. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Four yards have been tough to come by for both these teams. But it's been ugly to watch. The only thing you can really say is at least it's competitive still in the fourth quarter. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. Yeah. 
And he hits him hard at the 34. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here's the halfback. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That'll be a gain of three yards. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. out of bounds around the 31 yard line wide receivers role in a play action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback and that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play you realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at and make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback it's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. That makes it fourth and four. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up and it's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. There's a lot of time left, and I think the important thing for this offense is to get their momentum back and move the ball down the field. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. At the review the play, the rule on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. to the 40. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Brought down at midfield. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. They come out in a five-wide set. On the throw, incomplete pass. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. They're about four yards away here on third down. Just under two to go in the game. Throws it in a hurry. He dives, and he'll be marked down. That 
makes it first and ten. Second down and 14. Ball on the 33-yard line. Gets out to around the 25. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll make it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five wide. Quick throw. And he's tackled around the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line. First down. The 10. And he tackles him hard at the 7-yard line. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. And he's taken down at the three-yard line. Slings it. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their last timeout. From the three yard line, third down. He gets it up, and he got it. Game over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, the Grizzlies, 20, the Highlanders, 17. And the Highlanders. So that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.